Hi, I'm Dave Clayton. I'm a graphic designer based in the UK and I'm really excited to be teaching at the Creative Pro Week conference in Phoenix, Arizona this coming June. Uh, I'm going to be teaching two lessons. One is going to be about Adobe Illustrator plugins. The second one is going to be on Adobe InDesign. But for this quick tip, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of something that I use in Illustrator, which is a third party plugin by Astute Graphics. Now, quite often when I'm out and about, I like looking for design in the wild. And if I see something, I try and do a reverse engineer of it. And I saw this pattern that was on the back of an ice cream parlor last summer. And I took a photograph of it because I remember thinking I could show how to make that. And I know exactly what plugin I can use to show how to make that. So I'm going to take this graphic. And we're going to use these shapes. And we're going to replicate this effect so that it looks like this. And at the end of it, we're going to absolutely completely recreate this image using a simple plugin that's going to make our work editable, which means we can go back and change this if the client said, can you change the color? Can you change the angle? But these are the kind of tips that I like to teach because they are things that increase and improve your workflow and if a plugin can help you do that then don't be afraid to use it so let's jump in and i'll show you exactly what i mean okay we've only got a few minutes so we're going to go through this really quickly and we're going to be using the phantasm plugin from astute graphics the quick way to do this and you can do this with any shape is create the shape that you want to fill and turn it into a symbol and we can see here from the symbols panel we've got our green cone the yellow lolly and the pink lolly what we're basically going to do is fill each shape with its own shape so we'll start with the pink lolly and then we can actually save that setting and repeat it with these other two and i will show you that at the end really quickly so i've got my pink lolly selected I've got my symbols panel here. I'm going to come up to Phantasm and I'm going to click on the halftone, Phantasm halftone panel. What this is going to do is give me a default setting of uh, monochrome black dots at 12 dpi. Now the first thing we want to do is say sample the color because we want the pink to come through from underneath. The next thing we're going to do is change the dot property shape to pink lolly. The reason why it shows there is because we created a symbol for it. So we're just going to click on that. Now you can't see at the moment because the DPI is 12, which means they're quite small. So let's just change that to four. And now you can see the lollies. Now we can do a couple of things here. We can change the grid angle, which will be the way the dots lay out in the shape. So if I just change that to 45 degrees, you can see now that the angle for the pattern is 45 degrees. We can also come down here and change the dot property angle and make that 45 degrees. And what that will do is angle the shape of the lolly as well. So you can see really quickly there, what we've been able to do is actually change these settings. Now we've also got a dot gain setting here. And what we can do is by moving that, you can increase the gain or reduce the gain, which will create sh bigger gaps between the actual shapes itself. But we're going to leave it kind of around the middle here because I think that's kind of what the original lolly was for. If I reduce or increase the DPI, these would obviously increase and decrease in size. Now what I'm going to do is quickly come over here and I can save this setting. Now I've already saved it here as ice cream half tone, which means now I've changed those settings, I can actually apply those to the other two shapes. So we're just going to click OK. And now we've done that, you might think, oh, I want to go back in and just change something. It's not a problem because while we've still got a shape selected, if you come to the appearance panel and click on the Phantasm halftone again, we can go back in and make changes to this. So one of the things I want to do is clip to objects. I'm going to clip these to the actual original shape because we can see we've got these stray ones around the edge. So I'm just going to click on that clip to object and you can see that it tidies that up and I'm going to click OK. So that's our pink lolly done. Let's just quickly do the same to the yellow one. We're gonna come up here, click on this. We're gonna to go to our settings manager. I'm gonna come down to ice cream half tone. Let's just have a look what's happening. And the only thing we need to do here is just change this to the yellow lolly and click OK. And you can see straight away that we've got these shapes already filling the main shape. Let's just do that last one quickly. Uh, we'll come down to settings manager we'll go to this ice cream half tone and i'm just going to change that to the green cone now the reason why it's not done the bottom is because i've got an extra piece over the top because if you look at the original one the bottom of the cone was actually a solid green shape so 
really quickly you can see with a simple plugin I can go and create this effect and as I said if I go back into Phantasm Halftone I can actually change this setting and we can go say go back to zero I can change the DPI to say let's go to six and you can see it's a live effect and because it's a live effect it will show in the appearance panel that's my quick tip in Adobe Illustrator and third-party plugins. If you want to see more of that, then go to creativepro.com and sign up for the Creative Pro Week this coming June 5th to the 9th in Phoenix, Arizona. And hopefully I'll see you there. So catch you next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.